The Heart Center at Nationwide Children's is dedicated to the unique needs of patients with hypoplastic left heart syndrome and other forms of single ventricle heart defects. If your baby has hypoplastic left heart syndrome or other single ventricle heart defects and has had the hybrid stage 1 procedure, the next procedure will be the comprehensive stage 2. This is the second of three surgeries. The comprehensive stage 2 procedure has two goals, to decrease the amount of blood the right ventricle has to pump and to allow passive blood flow from the upper body to the lungs. The procedure is usually performed at four to six months of age. If your baby had the hybrid stage 1 procedure, he or she has bands around the left and right pulmonary arteries and a stent in the patent ductus arteriosus, or PDA. The comprehensive stage two is open heart surgery. To begin, the surgeon will make an incision in the chest. Once the heart is reached, your child will be placed on a heart-lung bypass machine. Next, the surgeon will divide the main pulmonary artery. Then, the stent will be removed from the PDA. The surgeon will remove the bands from the right and left pulmonary arteries and repair the openings in them. Next, the superior vena cava will be detached from the heart and attached to the right pulmonary artery. This new connection is called a bidirectional glen anastomosis. It allows oxygen-poor blood from the upper body to get to the lungs without passing through the heart first. Next, the surgeon will enlarge the opening in the wall between the right and left atrium. This enlargement allows more oxygen-rich blood from the lungs to mix with the oxygen-poor blood from the body. Finally, the surgeon will remove the PDA and begin reconstructing a new aorta. The hypoplastic aorta will be enlarged using patch material. The native aorta will be connected to the enlarged aorta. This is called the Damus K. Stanzel anastomosis. The new aorta allows unobstructed blood flow out of the right ventricle to the body. It also allows blood to flow into the coronary arteries that feed the heart. At the end of the comprehensive stage two procedure, an exit angiogram will be taken. The angiogram will help the surgeon see how well blood is flowing through the pulmonary arteries to the lungs. Our single ventricle team at Nationwide Children's is dedicated to supporting your child. We are available to answer all of your questions at any time at 614-722-2530 and at nationwidechildrens.org slash heart.